Um, acute load is uh, the, the load that you've done over a short period of time, your more recent load, and um, it could be as short as one training session or maybe as long as a week. Chronic load is the, the load that you've done over a longer period of time, so it could be anywhere between three and six weeks. Well, acute, acute load is analogous to fatigue and chronic load is analogous to fitness. So um, at any point in time, you can, you can quantify acute and chronic load and you know whether your athlete's in a, a relative state of fitness or a relative state of fatigue. If their fitness is high and their fatigue is low, then performance should be good. Um, if fatigue is high and fitness is low, then you go into a match being potentially underprepared and at risk of injury. Load's are a really interesting one when it comes to injury. For a long time we thought that load contributed to injuries, that high loads contribute to injuries. What we're starting to realise is that there's dual effects. Um, it can have a protective effect, um, but it can have a predictive effect. If you, if you use excessive loads or sharp spikes in load, then that increases your risk. But if you safely build to higher chronic loads, then it potentially reduces your risk of injury. This is the, the magical question of why some people can handle high loads and, and some people can't. Um, what we're starting to realise is that it's not just a simple matter of, of workload relating to injury. There's moderators of that relationship. So things like aerobic fitness, lower body strength, previous injury are all types of moderators. If you have high strength, um, high aerobic fitness, then at the same workload, you're more able to tolerate that workload and therefore have a lower risk of injury. I think when we're preparing for the, the worst case scenario, what I mean is preparing for the most demanding passage of play. Um, we know that on average, players will, will do a work to rest ratio of one to five, for example, in a, in a football game. Um, but what we really wanna know is what is the most extreme demands that we're preparing for? It's not a work rest of one to five, it's probably more like three to one. Um, very high intensity work with very short recovery. Um, the take home point with preparing for that is that if you just prepare for the average demands, then it's highly likely you're going to be underprepared for the most demanding passage of play.